Well, good morning. We're back in Middle Earth. And today, we are going to be heading to Aragion. So, let's see if I can remember how to get there. It's been a little while. Although, I usually don't have too much trouble getting there via the path down to Giant Valley. If I can remember where the path down to Giant Valley is. Let's see, where am I? Oh, right there. Pissing off the boar. I'll take the platinum on the way. Thank you very much. There it is. All right, so... We go down past these drakes and worms, and now I have to remember which path I want to take. This is the part that always gets me. There are a couple different pathways, and we're just going to ignore them. Oh, uh, we might not be able to ignore them for much longer. Okay, so there's that, there's that. Is it this one? I see. We've got a bunch of, uh, bunch of mobs over here. I don't think I went the right way. And you are a pain in my butt. Oh, we're down here. I want to take a look at this. like a meeting of wood trolls and regular trolls or stone trolls cave trolls well it's definitely not the way we want it to go but it's certainly quite interesting I think we have found a hidden meeting And deals being made. Alright, let's see if we can't get out of here since this isn't where we want it to be. Oh, I'll take the platinum though. Oh, there's plenty of ore in here. Good grief. Anybody wanted to grab some dwarf iron could come down in here and clean house. Alright, we're going to go back up this way. I know, I'm just going to piss y'all all off again. Sorry about that. Don't mind me passing through. Yeah, y'all want some dwarf iron? They got it all in there. So, is it this one? Okay, so, if you've gone the wrong way and you end up seeing a bunch of trolls, turn around, go back, take 
quick right. Take a another quick right, and you're on the right path. This is the path we were looking for. And we are officially in a region. Now we need to head over to Gwengris. And this is one of a couple different ways to get here. The other one is, of course, behind Ecad Candelith. It goes through the wood trolls across a couple bridges and actually comes out right next to Gwengris. But, when I was first learning the game, this was the path that the person I was learning it from used to take. And, for some reason, this is the path that stuck with me. So, it's the one I usually use. And I'm surprised we don't have the music playing. I must have the music down. The music in Aragion is very nice. I really like it. I'm not going to pause to turn it up. And if you can tell, the mob we just passed, or the mobs we're passing, have yellow names. So, it's actually just a little bit over level. Well, we're not going to let a tiny little detail like that stop us. Because we will level up quickly enough. And yes, these birds are a deed. Worms are a deed. Hillmen are a deed. Half orcs are a deed. Wolves and wargs are a deed combined. Thank goodness for that. And what was the other one? There was a uh, lizard. Lizards, not to be mistaken for worms. Actual little lizards. I'm trying to think if there's anything else Slayer-wise. I think that's all of them. And now we're getting some orange mobs. So yes, we are definitely... A couple of levels under the mobs here. As you can see, to level 49. So I'm three levels under it. And. Oh, wait. Are the trees a deed? I don't think the holly tenders are, and I don't think the wood trolls are, and I'm pretty sure the flies are not, and of course the huons, I don't think they're a deed, but they could be. Oh, uh, you have your dunlenders here, which we're going to probably piss one or two of them off. Maybe not. Who knows? Now there is a Huon that we do want to watch out for. Because you see, you notice most of the Huons, <coughs> they threaten to attack before they actually attack you. And if you move along quickly enough, they leave you alone. But there is one that wanders around and it's a rare elite i believe and he will directly just straight up attack you and he's pretty tough he's pretty tough a couple of levels over him he's definitely tough if you're under level there is also an ice grim near the mountains and that is over here here. Wait, where is it? 
Temples of Moria. Redhorn Pass. There is a Ice Grim near Redhorn Pass. And he is, no joke, a tough customer. Okay, so we have our Gwengra Stable. And there should be some quests here. Oh, there's plenty of quests here. No doubt about it. I'm thinking the epic, though. Which I do not see. So we Not have this guy. Your time. He wants me to defeat Holly Tenders and Huon. Now it says it's for a small fellowship and it says it's for level 48. Greetings. Have you late seen the Holly Forest south of Gwingris? Huons now walk about attacking those who pass through the wood instead of remaining docile trees as they should. There is something amiss in the wood. Something has awakened the trees from their usual slumber and provokes them. The Huons and Holly Tenders are proving too great a threat so close to our waypost. Gather your friends and deal with the menace return to me when you are through and perhaps we can learn what has stirred them. Now I know that there is a chain and I'm wondering if it's this one or another one. It actually ends up with an instance that, I'll be honest, I will not be able to do on my own uh, until I'm several levels over it. I definitely would get my behind hand it to me if I tried to do it right now. I'm wondering, though. Do I want to? See, the thing is, if I start the quest here, the rule is I have to find every quest and do it before I continue. Will, will you lend me your ear? I'm thinking. I have a thought. I know, I have those now and then. Isn't it amazing? Well, we're gonna start off by picking off the stables here. Because, well, I'll keep my thought to myself for the moment until I have actually finished an internal debate. Because I know what I'm thinking is not the easiest thing in the world. It's doable. I've done it before, but it's not easy. So, for those of you who have read the books, you know a little bit of the history of Middle Earth. Of course, this is Aragion. This is where the elves lived. This is well, where Celebrimbar and Bar lived. And where the Rings of Power are forged. It is pretty much, well, desolate now. There are a few ruins left. There are a couple of elf outposts here but i would say it's far 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 from livable Is it? Oh, I found some ancient silver. Let's see 
do. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Who's just my good friend Scam Likely? They just call whenever they want, don't they? All right, so this is Ekaderegion. What can I do for you? And we have two more to find: Ekad Mirabel and Ekad Dunnan. Now we want to go to the end of the road here. If we go this way, we find Mirabel. If we go that way, we find Ekad Dunnan. So I guess we will go to. Mirabelle first. And we'll have to keep an eye out for Angmorum. Half Orcs. And, well, any number of other critters that we. And of course, we have just found a deed. We're back on the road. Okay. Alcahadras. Low Holland. As you can see, the, the road likes to uh, fade in and out here. But, well, like I said, this was where a war took place. The fact that there's any type of road is amazing. And as you can see, we're starting to get into red mobs. Level 50. Level 50. Level 51. Where am I? Okay. Getting close to the road again. I tell you what, those birds are really a pain in the behind. Because you have to kill so many of them. And they're kind of scattered around. There's one or two spots where you'll have a, a dozen or so of them. And sometimes the best thing to do is to stay in that one spot and just farm that spot instead of trying to run all over the map looking for them. As you could tell, this was probably a very beautiful place at one time. Not so much anymore. We want to cross this bridge here. Like I said, we want to watch out for things like Angmorum. Half orcs, wild animals. I have discovered Ecad Mirabel. And Make there. Them. Now we need one more stable. That's Ekad Dunnan.
So if you look out over that way, you'll see another bridge or make, no, I think that's the bridge actually we came from. There is another bridge though. I know. I just came down from here, didn't I? I'm going to say it's down that way. But it's actually the entrance to an instance. And there are actually several instances here in Aragion. The two of them are usually just simply known uh, as school and library. They can actually be rather fun to do if you have a couple people to do it with. Alright, so, back this way. And yep, here's an Angmarm Priest, level 52. So we're getting even into the 52-53 range. See, is it there? Never mind. If you go down that way and cross the river, you'll be an in Inadwaif. Obviously, we will not be going that way because I would get stomped. Am I able to gather Kazad? Nope. I do not lack the proper training. What am I with my gathering? Still working on. Okay. So right now I'm stuck on ancient silver and ancient iron. That should not take me much to fix. Yeah, this used to be a riverbed. Obviously, it's very dry. Okay, I was going to say, what's a mob doing there? But that's actually an elf. Now, that's a mob. Level 51. He's a bit of an elite himself. He's also part of a quest. A Dunlunder. Because, of course, we're right next to Inundway. And it's no surprise to see Dunlunders out this way.
And if you go down that way and around, you will find the pass, the Redhorn Pass. Why I can't remember the name of it is beyond me. But there you have it. Make of Amun. And now we have gotten all the stables here. And this is. Well, this is the portal to the walls of Moria. And this is Rathwald. And Rathwald is going going we to say hello to us. What brings you to this place, traveler? An expedition of my folk has come to Holland to seek our kinsmen. Kinsmen's bawling within the vastness of Casa Doom, but I deem this has naught to do with your affairs. Still, our Lord Bozy and Broger have recommended that we accept whatever help is offered to us in this matter. Did they mean outsiders, I wonder? If you truly wish to aid the dwarves in reclaiming the halls of their fathers, speak with Tolk on the other side of this archway. We have not heard from Balin for many years. <coughs> and we may find the great halls of Casa Doom empty or full of danger. And without further ado, let us attempt the walls of Moria. Like I said, this is definitely a challenge one I've done before with some difficulty, but we're going to try it. Casa Doom has long been lost to us. Welcome but we to will reclaim it. Welcome to Holland. We have followed our Lord Bozy and Broger here with the purpose of reclaiming the mines of Moria lost to us for too many long years. If you are willing to aid us in this venture, we will be grateful for as long as the mountains stand above the halls of our fathers. Okay, we will be grateful for as long as the mountains stand above the halls of our fathers. Know this, though, Casa Doom was long ago taken from the dwarves by violence and slaughter and has remained devoid of our kind throughout the long years. Balin led an earlier expedition to reclaim the great city, but there has been no word from him for many a year. We do not know what we may find within the mines of Moria. The spies of our enemies are everywhere. We have not been here long before it became clear that some power was keeping a watchful gaze on Holland. Filthy Craven have appeared in great numbers, spying on our efforts and troubling the workers. I do not know what purpose news of our efforts may be put, but their presence has made Bozy uneasy, and that is enough for me. To the south you can see where the Siranon once flowed, but it has dried up, and the stream bed is now empty. Walk along the banks, defeating any of the spying Kriben you see there, and bring me their talons. We can put those vile birds' claws to various uses. More importantly, though, you will be hindering whatever fell plans the master of these spies may be brewing for my kinsmen. And now, I actually had no intention of attempting this today, but once I got to Aragion and thought of all the quests and deeds, I decided, well, you know what? We're going to give this a shot. And we're not going to be stupid. We're going to actually going to use some buffs. I do not want to use those yet. I would like to try to use that dim ones up. It doesn't help a ton, but it helps. Okay, new deed, Cribbon Slayer. Well, the birds are easy enough. But birds will not be the only things that we run across in this place.
Bring jagged talons to top. Okay, so I thought we needed to gather something else. We just needed to kill some birds. Well, quest number one was easy. Always is. Your intro quest is always easy. Thank you for this, my friend. Thank you for this. Not only for the Talons, but for defeating agents of whatever power believes the dwarves have no business here in Holland or in Khazad Doom. The dwarves will prevail. I've written a report for you to bring to Bori. Show him this document and he will determine how best to utilize your assistance. You will find, I'm um, sorry, that Bozy. You will find Bozy near some of the wagons beyond the rocky outcropping to the southeast. Just follow the road as it bends around the outcropping and turns northeast. Okay, I can do that. And I collect it, talk to report. Now, I know we're not going to be able to finish this today. But hopefully it will only take us two sessions to do it. Maybe three. It depends on how this, how they've reworked it to accommodate the new legendaries. Sorry, kitty. Poor baby. And here's Bozy. Thank you for this report, and welcome to Holine. Thank you for bringing me this, and also for your efforts on our behalf. Our work here has been going more slowly than we expected. My cousin Broger and I determined to seek Balling with Amoria some months ago. But it took many weeks to assemble an expedition of dwarves willing to accompany us. We chose a roundabout way over the mountains so as to speak with Lord Glowen, a close friend of our father's, about Khaza Doom. His words were grim. I do not think he believes that our expedition will succeed. It has been too long without word, he said to us, for Balin, son of Fundin, to live still within the mines. I am beginning to perceive the likelihood of his warning. The Holine Gate is blocked with rubble, and my dwarves work to clear it. When we arrived at the Holine Gate some days ago, we found the doors of Doran sealed by rubble and debris. Our road seems poorly chosen now. I wonder if the Demerol Gate on the eastern side of the mountain is open. Dwarves are of our expedition have been working to unearth the gate, but it is lean and hungry work. Bring them these lunches, for they may harbor strength for the labors ahead. Travel north up the slope between the rocky walls, and you will find workers resting all along the path to the hauling gate, and there are more along the edge of the water before the doors. Speak with war at the gate when you have done this, and he will have further tasks for you. No, you have a dwarf there. And over here, you have a couple more dwarves. I don't think they're going to have anything for us yet. Nope. That's Broin. And Bori. I can't remember. I think Broin is Bori's son. Or... Yeah, I think so. And I think Bozy is his uncle. We can only hope that during this, Bain's we don't have to deeply. worry about just yet because it's not going the way we're going. All right, so head up this way. And we can watch out for the birds. It 
You see all the Corbain out there. Although, like I said, they're the easiest of the mobs here. And just for the record, those are pretty cool looking trailers. I imagine that the dwarves also use them to sleep in as well as whatever other uses. Uh, Broger. Oh, wait. Broen is... Broger's son? Four of my best dwarves have gone missing. Hmm, pardon. Can I help you? My cousin and I have a great number of things to manage here, and I do not have a moment to spare on other matters. You wish to help? Well, if you're willing to work, I can certainly find a use for you. I dispatched four of my finest dwarves to investigate the cavern that flows with water. It is just up the slope to the east, and they have not yet reported back. If you can find these four inside the brack quarter, and bring me word of their findings, I will reward you for your troubles. Now that you have a task with which to busy yourself, pray do not linger about, for I find it distracting. Leave me. There is much I must consider. You don't look like you're doing much. All right, so. Deliver May food. return soon to his halls. Ah, oh, thank you for this. I was afraid I might waste away without something to eat soon. We'll have unearthed the hall and gate before too long, but it's not easy work. We work in shifts in order to get the job done as efficiently as possible. The shadow of Mordor uh, will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom. Hello there, and thank you for the lunch. My stomach was just beginning to grumble. My kinsmen are wondering what it is we'll find within Casa Doom. Lord Balin, alive and well great riches of mithril, countless orcs and goblins. I suppose we'll see, but I'm hoping for the mithril. And this guy has a quest for us. We have seen naught of Durin's bane. A he moment, if you please. We've already lost contact with four good dwarves inside the Brackwater, and I want to be sure you know what you're in for, if you dare to follow them. The cave seems to have many winding tunnels, and the whole network of passages is very dark, unwholesomely so. Cave lizards, cave lizards crawl from rock to rock amid the damp, and are more ferocious than their small size would have you believe. If you mean to delve into the Brackwater on some errand, be cautious. Then the cave lizards' hordes, while you're there, the creatures are a menace to any who tread too near their lair, and I do not know how long it will be before the gate is cleared and we can leave this place. Okay. Now these are quests that can only be done while you're in this expedition or the intro. If you do not complete quests before you finish this, uh, then they go away. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. This lunch will be just the thing to refresh me after my long labor, and I thank you for it. We would not have followed just anyone here to Holland. and the darkness of Casa Doom, Lords Bozy and Broger are young, true, but they are stout of heart, and their fathers earned great renown as part of Thorin's company. This could be our chance to achieve glory of the same kind. Now, did I, did I miss somebody? I don't think I did. Another dwarf. And they're very long-winded, if you notice. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom. Thank you for this lunch. I will eat it in a moment. There is something about this lake I do not like, but I cannot figure out what it is. It makes me uneasy. And yes, if you go out into the water here... Huh. Whoa, wait. There we go. See it? The dread. 
And if we went out here long enough, we would have a... Well, it used to be you would actually... You could actually fill your dread bar. I don't think you can anymore. But, yes, there is a sense of dread about this lake. So. Back up on our horse. Now that we've gone for a nice refreshing dip in swamp water. We cannot let the supplies get wet or they may be ruined. Very wise. Dwarves. Another dwarf worker. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Kasatum. Thank you for the lunch. You are truly courageous to help us thus. Or have you not heard the tale of Doran's bane? At any rate, you have my thanks. Now I'm wondering, has she heard the story of da Doran's bane? She may have been in her long coma when that happened. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. You have my thanks for the lunch, but I will have to eat it when my shift is done. We'll be through this rubble in no time. Tis odd, though my pick tells me that this debris hasn't yet settled. I'd wager a wagon full of Moria silver that the collapse happened recently. The shadow of Mordor will ah. not long fill the halls of Kasatu. Ah, prepared lunch. Lord Bozy is doing a fine job keeping us fed and rested. We will repay both him and Lord Broger with all of our strength and be through this rubble in no time. What will we find beyond the gate, I wonder? Make sure there's nobody else, except for war here. We are running low on pickaxes. They break too easily. You've come at just the right time. We're really going through pickaxes here, and if we break any more, it will hinder our progress in digging out the Holland Gate. Bring these broken pickaxes back to Lord Bozy, and tell him that we'll need some replacements, and quickly if we are to continue making good progress. You will find him near the bank of the Cyrenon, south of the winding road that ends here at the gate. All right, so back we go. And on the way back, we have a cave to visit. Although, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how long we've been at this. Well, hopefully it won't take us too long to do the cave. And then we can pause after we go talk to Bozy again. We made a bunch of dwarves very happy by bringing them lunch. Yep, and here's our cave. Now, we go in here. The first thing we see is a dwarf. Hello, dwarf. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Burger sent you to check on us. I cannot blame him, for it is well past time that we return to give our report. We are separated shortly after entering this foul, dank cavern. Brackwater, indeed. I heard Ogor shouting from somewhere up above here about some sort of treasure he has found. But then his calls, fade, calls faded, and I have heard nothing from him since. Where Sulky and Weather ended up, I do not know. I hope you can find my kinsmen. We ha four have had poor fortune in this watery cave, and Broger will not be pleased by our report. So, find dwarves. 
Stand and speak with me. The fate of Khazadum hangs in the balance. I am glad you're here. I become s my party became separated shortly after we entered the Black Warner. I have not yet been able to regroup with them. I almost found my friend Ogre, however. He seems to have made it to the top of the waterfall down the passage somehow, and I heard him shouting about some sort of strong box that he found at the top. I fear that the cave lizards must have been drawn by the sound of his shouting, for I have not heard from him since. If you could find the same passage he used to come to the top of the waterfall, however, you might be able to find the treasure of which he spoke. I will reward you handsomely for news of it, and for news of Ogre's fate as well, of course. All right, so we have to go wander around a cave. And yeah. Now, cave lizards, again, like the birds, are actually not that difficult to tend with. And we only have to kill eight of them to boot. So, which way are we going? I don't think it matters which... Actually, it does. Because that's a dead end. Okay. So, unfortunately, we have run across one very unlucky dwarf. And I believe he's dead. Very sad. Now, if I'm right, we need to continue this way. And at this point, we have killed the requisite number of cave cave lizards and should not have to kill any more unless they actually attack us which they will only do if we stay around them too long oh and we have found a living dwarf if it were not for these the creatures of finding Mithril, I would not have come here. These creatures are more dangerous than you might expect. Be careful as you search for the rest of my party. We were separated not long ago by vicious beasts, and I have been able, unable to locate my fellow since. I heard Sul Sulky calling for help not long ago, but I have not heard him in some hours. I fear he has fallen into danger. Okay. So we have fortunately found one dwarf that is alive. And I believe we need to go this way. And then this way. And we have found Sulky, unfortunately. We also found a dented strongbox. But the strongbox only contains dust. And now we could run all the way back down. Or we could just jump down this hall. So, ali -oop. And of course that will give us a nice little crack for several seconds, but it's a whole lot faster than having to run all the way back. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. You found the strong box. Well, where is it? What treasure did Ogre find that can justify the losses we have suffered here? Throttle's face falls as you tell him the strong box contained only dust. I see. Perhaps I was a fool to expect a mighty treasure, but as we were so close to Khazad Doom, I thought perhaps. 
It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. The real riches are sure to be inside the mines, rather in the, than in these damp caves. The strong box must have contained the belongings of some brigand long ago, and no treasure at all. It is a pity. And we leveled up. Okay. So, back out. And talk to Valgut here. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. It is good to see you return from the depths of those noxious caves. Too few have done so. Fewer cave lizards lurk now among the stagnant pools to threaten the unaware, it would seem. I thank you for your services and reward you with these coins. May they be of use to you. Okay. And these quests, well, also because I had some blue bar left, are giving quite a bit of XP. Your tidings are grim. We're few enough dwarves as it is. Thank you for the tidings, even though they are grim. I am saddened by the loss of Sulky and Ogre. There is much work to be done before we have cleared the hall and gate of the rubble that choke it. And they were strong of arm and sturdy as the har hardiest of our race. But your payment was not only good for news, but your payment was not only good for good news, and you have earned the reward. Take it and make yourself useful. There is still work to be done. So let's see what we have here. Um, can't really use any of this stuff, so we'll just take what gives the most coin. All right, and then back to Bozy. And after that, I think we will pause with him. I'm sure he will have a bed while we can borrow. Buzzy. We have gone through so many pickaxes already. Oh, I see. These pickaxes are broken, which means that unless we can get replacements to war, all work on excavating the Holland Gate will be suspended. We have to do something about this, and quickly. We will need both branches and stones to repair these pickaxes. We had no way of knowing the gate would be in this state, and didn't think to bring extra pickaxes with us. Still, the area has many stout trees which should provide ample strong branches perfect for pick handles. We'll sharpen the metal heads ourselves and attach them to the new handles. I sent my son, Bori, to collect stones upon which we could sharpen our axes, but he is yet to bring me any. Gather branches from the bases of trees and help my son collect sufficiently sufficiently sharp stones and return to me when you have done both. <clears throat> Bori is probably waiting, wasting time with his friend Broan at the stair east of here. Those two can care more for the spinning of tails than they do for working. Okay. So, Bori is Bozy's son and I think Broan may be Broger's son. I'm not 100% sure. But, we've gotten that first part done. And next time, we will continue working on the Walls of Moria. And until then, bye for now.